Lena Barrett, this is TTT News. It's time for the headlines. Passed on human trafficking charges and a co-accused are granted bail. Southeast Port of Spain and two other schools will not open on Monday, the first day of the new school term. PNM Tobago Council registers nearly 1,500 new members ahead of internal elections this month. And in sport, West Indies named team for opening won the internationals against Ireland. Pastor Glenna Wong of the Transformed Life Ministries in Aruka has been granted bail of $0.9 million. The pastor shot to the spotlight last October after members of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service raided the Aruka Church where it's alleged that 69 people were being held against their will. Cameraman Ricky Gokul went to the Arima Magistrates Court where the pastor appeared today. And Crystal Wilson has more in this report. Pastor Glenn Awong and co-accused Indra Jagannath appeared on Friday before Magistrate Sharon Raphael on charges arising out of an incident last October. Police had raided the Transformed Life Ministries and rescued people who were being housed on the compound. The court heard that Awong and Jagannath allegedly detained and held Selwyn Bihari against his will sometime between January 2019 and July 2019. Magistrate Raphael granted Awong $900,000 bail with surety to cover the three charges. As a condition of bail, Awong, who was represented by attorney Darren Mitchell, was asked to surrender his passport, report to the Aruka police station once per week, and make no attempt to contact the police complainant in the matter. Attorney Wayne Sturge, who represented Jagannath, the church employee, told the court his client was a 61-year-old mother who had voluntarily submitted to an interview with the police last week. Jagannath, who was subsequently granted $300,000 bail with surety, was also asked to surrender her passport, report to the Shigonas police station once per week, and make no attempt to contact the police complainant. Mr. Sturge also informed the court that the defense intended to call Guardian Media journalist Mark Bassant as a witness in the case. He then requested the magistrate ask Mr. Bassant, who was present at the time, to leave the room. The matter was subsequently adjourned to January 10th. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.